Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of, well I wouldn't say welcome back, it's more of, uh, I'm trying something kind of new today. Uh, as you see, this is a team, this is team two of the Shinies, and if you can't tell, we have made two switches on this team. We have taken out, I believe it was, I can't remember the name of the Pokemon, Florges, got rid of Florges, or swapped out Florges, and then swapped out the, what's the other one, Lorantis. Switch those two out for Farikaraf and Braviary, the Hisuian Braviary. Now, this team is somewhat the same, Trick Room is its whole thing, but I wanted to make it a little different, just switch it up slightly. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into casual battles, just so I can work out the kinks and stuff like that, just so you guys can get more of like a behind the scenes of like what I do in order to test some teams. Like, if it's a team that is recommended to me, or a team that is a code given to me, I am not going to... Uh, use it in casual battles. I'm just going to use it right up because it is a team that has already been pre-made has already been like Tested stuff like that and then given out whereas my teams personally all my shiny teams are not Given out essentially like they're not essentially they're not given out They are something that I just put together because it sounds fun So with that being said, we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go right into this team detail starting with Bax caliber Rocking thermal exchange, which if I'm not mistaken, it takes less damage from fire type moves if not Something to do with if it gets hit with a fire type move, something happens. But we're rocking loaded dice, just so the scale shot and the icicle spear that have a chance to hit one to five times hit more than that, you know? So it's like, it's going to hit more than just one to two, like one time. So you're like, I think it's guaranteed three hits at least, if I'm not mistaken. Swords dance, just so I can get plus two on attack, hit harder, protect, just so I can protect myself from things that are going to hurt me. Next up, we have Farigaraf. Rocking the fire type Terra. I forgot. Baxcalibur has a fire type Terra just so the thermal it resists fire and then thermal exchange itself. It will, you know, I won't take as much damage because I am a fire type Terra if I terrestrialize. And then I'll get the boost or get like the uh, the modifier off thermal exchange without taking as much damage if I terrestrialize. Next up, we have Farigaraf with Armor Tail, which priority type moves like Fake Out, Extreme Speed, all that do not hit me, which is great. Rocking leftovers just so I can get a little bit more health. Uh, with Trick Room, Terra Blast. It's going to be Terra Fire because I'm a Terrasalize into a Fire Tech. Nasty Plot, just so I can get plus two on my special attack. And Psy Shock, so I can hit you as hard as I possibly can. Next up in number third, or the third spot, and my, the way I see it is not one, two. I'm going down the list. So in the third spot for me is King Gambit, everyone's favorite VGC Pokemon. Uh, with Defiant, just so if any stats get lowered, it's plus two in its attack. Rocking Black Glasses, just so I hit a little bit harder with them Dark type moves. Rocking Iron Head, Koto Cleave, because it never misses. Swords Dance and Sucker Punch. Next up, we have Polisand, rocking the Water Type Terra, just so uh, it has the Water Compaction, which if it gets hit with a Water Type move, its special defense goes up by one stage. So if I'm a Water Type, I take less damage from Water Type moves. Rocking the Culver Berry. So now we have Earth Power, Shadow Ball, Iron Defense, and Shore Up. I took off Stealth Rocks because it's a doubles team. You're not really going to be doing a lot of like status or like uh, hazard damage, which is like Stealth Rock, Toxic Spike, Spikes. Like, you're not really going to be doing a lot of that. So I switched it out for Iron Defense just so I can live more hits physically. And then Shore Up just so I can get much, like, you know, as much as I can. And then the Culver Berry is, I believe it is Water Type moves that hit it? Or is it Ghost Type moves? I think it's Ghost Type moves that hit it. Either way, it's going to resist one of its weaknesses. Uh, next up, we have Gothitelle with Shadow Tag, which means you cannot switch out if this Pokemon is in. Rocking the Citrus Berry. It has the Fairy Type Terra with Trick Room, Protect, Helping Hand, and Psychic. Next up, we have Braviary, and you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot of Psychic types on your team. I know it is, but trust me, there's some weird concoction of a thought somewhere in this brain of mine. But we have Braviary with Tinted Lens, which means moves that are not effective uh, are actually going to do double damage. So, for example, if I use Hyper Voice against a Fighting type, Fighting resists normal type moves, but it's going to do double damage because of Tinted Lens. Rocking Throat Spray, the only reason for that is because I'm going to use Hyper Voice at least once, and then Throat Spray is going to activate because it's going to be plus one in special attack because the requirement for Throat Spray is to use some sound-based move. And then, you know, it's Throat Spray. It's going to, like, numb your throat so it gives you plus, you know, special attack. Like, that's how the ore works behind it. But then I have Hurricane just because I want to hit just as hard as I can on the special side. It is inaccurate, or it's not as accurate. It's a 70%. Uh, it is 100% accurate in the rain, but as you see, I don't have a lot of... I don't have a rain team. I could easily make one, but I don't have one. Then I have Calm Mind, just to get another, you know, special, like, attack boost and special defense boost at the same time. Then I have Esprewing, just in case if, uh, you know, it hits, 
It's a special type psychic type move that goes for Braviary, just Braviary that I'm aware of. It's its like unique move that uh, it raises your speed by one. And for some of you who don't know, Trick Room, you want to be the slowest thing possible. But Braviary, I made it so its speed is the lowest thing on the, on the tier. But the reason why I have that move on it is just because if we outlast the five turns of Trick Room, at least it's going to have somewhat speed, like, you know, built up over time. Or at least that's the thought I'm going behind. But with that being said, let's jump into that first game of casual battles and see how this works, just so I can work out, like, the issues of it, you know? Welcome back, everyone. We are here with our first battle against Vishuela. Both that. Uh, our Vishuela could be, too, because it's I I. And, you know, different languages enunciate the I's differently. Instead of E, it can be A. Ah, so, via. Vishuela. Sure, Vishuela. Let's go with that. Uh, we we're going against a Rimpardos, a Bronzong, a Luminion, a Toxicroak, a Hippowdon, and last but not least, a Garchomp. This is very Gen 4 esque, like Diamond Pearl. I don't know, is it a Trick Room team? No, because Garchomp's there. I don't know, but I feel like. Hmm, who would I want here? Because you do have a ground, two ground types that are weak to ice type moves. Electric, so you have a water type that's weak to electric type moves, grass type moves. Hmm, I don't have anything to really deal with the Luminion in that sense. Rampardos is weak to grass, water, ground. Bronzing has levitate and probably either that or heat proof. Either one is going to be kind of hard to deal with. Um, I think part of me really wants to start off with, let's start like this. Then, do I bring the Ferrigarath? You, you. See how that goes. I feel like I should have brought the King Gambit because Rampardos is also weak to steel, but I don't know what that's rocking. Could easily just, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like this is an interesting team. I wonder if it's a sand team. I wonder if that's what this is setting up for is a sand team. Lampardos and Bronzong. Okay. Um, let us trick room immediately. Actually, Bronzong is faster, so he might just want to trick room himself. So what I think I want to do, helping hand you in Shadow Ball. But I don't know if you Terrastal. I don't know what this team is about, so let's see what goes on here. Okay, so yeah, you're probably going for Trick Room, yeah? Yeah, so you're a Trick Room team. Okay, so I called the Trick Room, because it'd be weird if you weren't, you know? Once again, helping hand. I should still be slower, I think. I think that thing might... Because I think even if it does like the um, the head smash, which is the rock type move, that's basically, it deals, it's like flare blitz, but for a rock type, you deal a, a lot of damage, but you take, uh, I think a certain amount of recoil, depending on how much damage you did. Is it 30% of the damage you did? So like, say if you did 100 HP, you take 30, it takes away 30 HP from you. The grass type, okay, okay. Oh. Didn't do much. Still a nice chunk. Yep, so it says levitate. Okay. But what I can do here... Got my citrus. I'm okay with that. Because I can, like, eat those up every other day of the year, you know? I could also iron defense too, just get my defense up for that guard chomp when he comes in. Ah, oh, I could also bring in Bax Caliber right now. Should have done that. And start icicle spearing. Cause it would it would mollywop the, the Rampardos. 
Oh, I can't though, because it has rock type moves as well, probably. Mm-hmm. Going on here. Iron defense. Okay. They're setting up defensively. I'm okay with. Oh, that's a two-hit KO on you. Rock slide. I don't think you're rocking protect. I really do not. Is it am I slower? I can't know. I don't know if my back's caliber is slower. That's the problem. I want to say it's it's probably faster. His back's caliber has somewhat, if I'm not mistaken, has some kind of speed into it. Like, just a little bit. Not a lot of speed invested, but... Or not invested, but, like, naturally, it is faster than Rampardos, I think. I don't ever remember Rampardos being necessarily quick. Ugh. Get you out of here. I missed someone. That's even better for me. So Marigold actually did a really good job here doing what it needed to do. And I think I'm actually... Hmm. I know you're slow, so let's see if a hurricane can hit you. Mm -hmm -hmm. So who's slower of the two of you? I'm pretty sure it's Braviary, because Braviary is, like, slow. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, so you boosted in speed for that reason. So, I'll throw you in, because you are slow. I should be the slowest thing on the field. If I am not mistaken. Plus, the shiny of this Pokemon is super dope, too. It is so nice. Okay, so you did protect. Here's someone this Toxic Probe wants to go for. Fake out. That is fine. Earth power you. That's a two-hit KO, so... Dimensions return to normal. Which means that I am the slowest thing on the field now. Which... I'm okay with that, I guess. Yeah, so you would drew Rampardos. That means I get to I get to hit something. I ate that up surprisingly well. Ah. Uh. Got you there. <sighs> so what are you going to do now is my question. Because I can hurricane. I think I just have to go for something here. Because even if I shore up or iron, I should have iron defense at least once because then I could have lived at least something from the guard jump. Um. Get rid of the Rampardos, I guess. As long as I don't flinch. Gone. Okay, so he can hit. He, he, I don't know if he wants to. He's iron heading now. And it's just me and. Yeah. So it's just him. It's just this one Mon, yeah? That didn't. Hot.
In all honesty, I could probably just Esper Wing, start getting a speed boost, and then shore up here. Because I'm guaranteed to hit you with something. Like, I'm guaranteed to move here. So are you just going to cancel the battle? Okay, so you're protecting. Interesting, interesting. It's rather... Just gives me free health. So I think you're going to quit after seeing that I can restore my own health here. And just iron defense. Yeah, so... He's playing it out, so good for you for playing it out. So now, now I'm going to be really tanking hits here. And I don't think you're going to like this pick. Because even if you iron head, it's not going to like... Because he's like, oh, he's faster than me, right? Here's the thing. I'm going to fire type. I'm going to fire. I'm going to use my Terra and just fire type it. And now, I'm going to Shadow Ball you. Why? Because I can So you're going to see the fire type back's caliber come out. And I am going to resist your your iron head. Oh, I'm actually faster than you. That's crazy. I guess I am speed invested, so. That wasn't too bad, actually. Oh, yeah. I forgot he couldn't switch out because of Shadow Tag. I was sitting there. I was like, I'm surprised he didn't switch out like earlier. And then I forgot. That's the thing I love about having like Marigold or the Gothitelle uh, with its Shadow Tag ability is it like the like the enemy cannot switch out Mons if Marigold is on the field. So if Gothitelle is on the field, you can't switch out your Pokemon. So if you're at a type disadvantage, you're going to stay at a type disadvantage. And I just got lucky and had two Pokemon that were weak to just uh, San or Sandy Gast, not Sandy Gast, um, Polisand, that were just weak to my Polisand. So it's like, okay, so we have a Steel uh, Psychic type that's weak to Ghost and Ground, which that's what he is. And then we had a Rock type, which is weak to Ground, which that's what he is. But the Grass type Terra would... I probably could have guessed, but I would have said, like, water or something. But, like, I guess grass. Because you cover... Because you because your moves alone cover rock. They cover fire. They cover ice. So, yeah, I guess grass would make the most sense there. But, yeah, that was a, you know, GG's to my opponent. That was actually a very fun game. Uh, I was kind of curious on why I built a Jolly version of Baxcalibur. Because, like, this whole team is supposed to be slow. But then it kind of, you know, it makes sense to me now if, like trick room is off at least i have something that is potentially faster than certain mons if they're not speed invested so i'm like duh okay that makes more sense but uh yeah that uh would that have gone differently i don't think that might have actually gone the same exact way if i brought in uh king gambit in all honesty but the eq would have bodied it would have hurt uh the toxic croak would have hurt so I think I did do the right play there, bringing in the Polisand and starting off with Gothitelle and not bringing anything else in. Um, I'm still debating what kind of Terra type I want. Um, what is your name? Braviary, the assuming Braviary to have because it is very... It's, 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 it's good with its typing. Like, its typing to me is really good. But I'm trying to, like, find a Terra type that would, like, cover majority of its weaknesses because I think it has five weaknesses because flying is weak to rock, ice, and electric. Psychic is weak to Bug, Dark, and Ghost, but Flying, it, it resists Bug, if I'm not mistaken, so it has five weaknesses. So if I can somehow find something, I think Steel is the best typing there, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but for anyone who's watching and knows Pokemon better than I, which should be a majority of you, if not, uh, let me know what Terra type you think would fit best with that Pokemon, because Hisuian Braviary is pretty fun, and I think it's a pretty interesting build. But uh, yeah, let's get into that next battle. 
Welcome back to the second battle. We have Hana. I want to say not Hannah. Might be Hannah, but I say Hana maybe. Uh, so what we're seeing here is an Entei, an Urshifu, which is probably the water type, Fluttermane, Shanpao, Dragonite, and then we have, of course, Rillaboom. So I think just in case they want to bring in like, a, I think Sucker Punch doesn't affect you. I might be wrong there. Because uh, I don't know, if, I don't know if Sucker Punch is a priority move. I think it is because it goes first if you're attacking. But who knows? Um, who do I want to lead with? Because this is actually a pretty solid team. Um, I don't, I don't know if you're gonna lead with Rillaboom. I don't know if you are because I don't really see a lot of Rillaboom leads. They might do Dragonite, like a Dragonite Chan Pao lead. So I could easily just go like this and hit Protect. But I am faster. So I could just try to hit something. Um, what else is there here? Sandy Ash. I think I have to bring Jedi just to do sucker punches on the Flutter. And just sucker punch everything. I don't really think any of you have Intimidate. None of you really have moves that are going to lower anything that I'm aware of. Hmm. Really Boom's going to be a problem. But... You know what? Working out the kinks. Let's see how it goes. So far, 70% accuracy wasn't too bad. It was actually in my favor. Now, if I really wanted to, I could put a Terra Blast instead of Hyper Voice, give it Tinted Lens, or just, like, give it Rain Dance. Okay, so Entei and the Flutter. So this isn't that bad of a lead. Okay, so yeah, so you're going to be faster, which I am okay with. We are going to Trick Room immediately, and then I'm going to Rastalize. And I'm going to Hell Shot you, I guess. Because I want to see... You're going to hit me with a Fire-type move. I feel like you are. Should I have protected there? Probably. Should I have done Swords Dance? Probably. But your team's faster than me, so you're going to Terrasalize first. So you're not Terrasalizing. Okay. So what are you doing to me? Because I am scared. Hit me with a Fire Titan, please. That was a nice little chunk there. It's critical healing on me. I was about to say, that was a lot of damage. Snarl. I'm okay with this. Some of that health back. Goodness gracious, that was ridiculous. Um, I'm a nasty plot here. I want to keep you up. I want to keep you up here. So I think what I want to do is switch into you. To the polisand. I'm gonna do is protect. Because they're going to want to try to get rid of the Frigoraph, I feel like. And that's going to be fine with me. Yep. Okay, so got the Entei out. Urshifu. I feel like you're throwing out Urshifu here. Rillaboom. That is interesting. Not gonna do much. I was gonna say I should be able to eat that pretty well. Now the question is, do you want to fake out the Bax Caliber here? Is 
Because I'm Icicle Spearing you, regardless. <laughs> so you have to fake out here, is what I'm is what I'm hearing. You can fake out Protect. That's the safest move to do right now. Because right now, I'm at plus one speed. So once this ends, I'm going to be start hitting you a lot harder. I am surprised, though. I, I feel like you have the Urshifu in the back. Because Urshifu is just a good Pokemon to have. As much as I complain about it, it's, a, it's just generally a really good Mon. It's such a good Mon. See what's going on here. I'm nervous. So you are a fire type as well. That is fine. Oh, so you're not faking out. Probably wood hammering, huh? Ah, oh, high horsepower. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Either there's one more room of, or one more turn. I could do. No honesty, actually. Go like this, because I'm going to sucker punch the other living crap out of you. You're going to high horsepower me, and I'm okay with that. Ah, double protect. All right, the protect. I shouldn't have doubled in. My leg itches. That's a lot of damage. Ah, I should have doubled into him, yeah, because he's going to high horsepower me now. Oh, no, he's wood hammering. Okay fine. He's going to damage himself, too. I could just sucker punch him, personally. Because uh, how many things have Trick Remote? There's one left. don't know if that's going to be enough to hit you. I don't know if that's going to KO you because you are assault vested. I probably should have sucker punched. Oh, I'm iron heading whatever's coming in. I don't care. Oh, Dragonite, you can get pieced up. Ow. <laughs> okay, that is enough to KO you. Get out of here. A Max Caliber would be bodying that Dragonite right now. Because he's going to want to E speed. I know that for a fact. What I'm going to do, like this, and I'm going to Sucker Punch Entei. Is that simple? Because I know you're going to want to what? E speed? Yep. And E speed me because of armor tail, baby. So you wasted a move. Ah. That was Entei that had it? That's crazy. Loaded dice? Are you loaded, Dice? I forget Entei has E-Speed. I really do. He's probably just going to E-Speed me down, but that's fine. He's just going to double E-Speed, I feel like. She, my bad. She's going to double E-Speed. Get out of here. <laughs> And you're going to hit me with a fire type move. And then it's SGGs. Uh -huh. 
And I'm burned too, so yeah. That's GG's. Well, going down swinging. Watch this. <laughs> Dr. Punching. I'm doing it again. <laughs> okay, so the one thing I'm seeing here is it does have a uh, a ground type weakness so far. Not just like it's just normally because like Baxcalibur is fire, so I might switch off Baxcalibur for something else. But Baxcalibur is doing pretty good. Gale shot, Ice Cold Spear, Loaded Dice, Protect, Swords Dance. But I think with King Gambit, I'm just I could be more comfortable and I could at least Swords Dance once when he comes out because he he can take like two hits max. If I'm in Trick Room, I just Sucker Punch everything. But uh, yeah, that team was very good. So GG's to you. Uh, very fun team. Very fun team. And uh, this this episode is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be three episodes long because, like I said, there's like or three. it's not going to be three battles long. It's only going to be two because there's a long description in the beginning, the very beginning. If, you're, if, if, if you made it this far in the video, congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But the beginning of the explanation of what's going on after the first battle, the explanation of what I thought my like what my thoughts were. This one is going to be more in depth as well. Uh, from what I'm seeing so far, it is a uh, ground type weakness. So I think having the flying type Terra on my Braviary is actually pretty good because I can actually do a lot of stuff. Uh, because I can deal with, I think, every typing. The steel I have ground type and fire for. Uh, fairies there with Jedi. So I can just King Gambit, head, uh, Iron Head hit you. Bug, fire, flying rock but i don't have a rock type move but i feel like i yeah i think i'm pretty confident that i can deal with just about every typing that comes out but it's all dependent on trick room it's all dependent on trick room so yeah with that being said thank you so much for watching this is the part of the video that if you are listening to me as background noise you can click on one of the videos that you see pop up on the screen or you can just click, click one of your own choice because it's your own life you know you do what you want but with that being said, thank you so much. I do appreciate every watch, every comment, every everything. Thank you so much for allowing me to do what I love doing the most, which is playing games and explaining things to other people who want to play the games, teaching them things, and being taught things at the same time, you know? With all that being said, I'll catch you guys in that next episode.